Hi, I'm Jessica of Three Witches Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make a turkey wing style brew. If you signed up to take my online workshop in making a turkey wing style broom, you'll be receiving this in the mail, which is basically your foot bobbin, and there's a hole drilled in the center of it, and I've already wrapped enough twine for you to make a turkey wing style broom, and you'll either get a handful of undyed broom corn, or if you have specially requested black broom corn or any other color. Let's first talk about supplies. Um, you're going to need a good handful of, this is undyed natural broom corn. So what fits easily between your thumb and middle finger, this will be the handle. Um, you'll need what I'm calling a foot bobbin and I'm using just a piece of two by two redwood that I found on a dog walk and I drilled a hole in the center. I used a planer to plane it down but you don't need to plane down the center. You just need a stick with a hole drilled in the center. You could even use um, a round closet rod. And this will be our tensioning device. You will need a pair of pliers with serrated faces, a sharp scissors. Um, this piece of leather is going to be my, tie, uh, my handle on my turkey wing sow broom. And then I've got some extra pieces of twine. This is number 18 nylon twine. It's waxed. Um, and I've got some extra pieces because I am going to want to um, fasten a couple things onto my broom's decoration. So I'll have a couple extra ones set aside. Um, you will also need a cutting board and a sharp serrated knife. So there's two ends to this broom corn. There's the smooth bottom. This is the part that would be your handle of your turkey wing style broom. And then the more wavy bits are where the seed heads are attached when it's growing. So we have the wavy top bit and the smooth bottom bit. And we're going to lay it out in five or six equal piles. And because I'm using a small table, I'm gonna crisscross it with the wavy ends out. Three, four, five, and six. So you've got your broom horn laid out. You want to have your pliers handy. I'm gonna keep them on the stump here. Your scissors handy. The thing that is going to be your handle, it could be just about I don't know, 12 inches of twine. This is a 12 inch piece of leather. And you are going to want to make what's called a rip cord. So take about seven inches of twine and fold it over and put a knot in one end, a simple knot like that. setting up your foot bobbin you put the twine through the center hole and just tie a tight knot. I tie a couple of knots and because it's the waxed twine it's not gonna slip. Okay so this part I'm just it's hard for me to know um, I was taught that it was about 150 revolutions I just spend about four or five minutes rolling this onto my stick and um, it tends to be enough for a turkey wing style broom. The worst case scenario is you run out of twine um, and that has happened to me before and I'm able to splice together or not together um, two pieces of twine. So I would put a little more for a turkey wing style broom. It doesn't need too much twine. That's it. Okay. So now, now we're actually getting to the making of the broom. Take your foot bobbin and put it underneath your feet. At this point, make sure you've gone to the bathroom and you've done everything that you need to do for your personal business because um, while we're making the broom, we're going to have to keep the tension on the broom. The twine is going over my foot bobbin. So it's over my foot bobbin. 
I lift up my feet when I want to have some slack and I put my feet down when I want to stop it. I take my first stack of broom corn. Remember there's the wavy end and then the smooth end. Even it up on my thigh and I'm going to start near the wavy end and I'm going to put my twine over and go around and I'm going to go over one more time like an X. You see that you might want to get a close up of that X. And then I take the end of my twine and I'm going to go underneath the X. And this is a little tricky. Um, and don't worry if it's tricky because it always feels a little sloppy for making this kind of knot. But there it goes. So it's an X and then the tail you pull on it. Now I don't need this tail to be that long. So I'm going to cut it to about right there. And I'm going to take my pliers just to tighten it up. Okay. Now this is probably the hardest part of uh, getting this started. I'm going to so again, the twine is going over my foot bobbin and it's going over my broom corn and I'm going to be rotating my broom corn towards my belly button. So now I'm going to start weaving it around and after it's about four revolutions, I can pull and tighten up and the knot is not gonna slip. And I wanna make this actually pretty wide. I like to cover my tail and I'm gonna open my feet make your um, each of your wraps or your revolutions parallel to each other so that they're not going on top of each other. Um, in the couple of years that I've been making brooms, I tend to actually like it with uh, big bands of black or any color twine. Okay. So at this point, we're going to do something which I call a traveling V. We're going to be adding on another section. You take your pointer finger and you pull it up so it makes what looks like a V. With your other hand, take your next thing of broom corn. And remember, wavy ends will be side by side. And then I take my finger again. This is that looks like the beginning of a V. And I, then I rotate it around. And then there's the end of the V. So you're traveling here. And then I'm going to pull, keeping the tension. This is how tight it is. I, don't, I do not want it slack. If it's slack, it will come apart. So I go around and then I can pull it towards my belly button. Go around. It's up to you how many times you want to go around. It's tight enough that it could probably just go around with like two revolutions. But like I said before, I like a lot of black, so um, I like to I could go around five or six times, maybe even ten times. Um, one thing that's nice to do aesthetically is keep the black bands more or less the same width. Okay ready for my next V. I pull it up. I grab my next section. Smooth ends down here. Wavy ends up at the top. Line them up. I'll be cutting this at the end so it doesn't have to be perfect. But line them up. Put it side by side. This is a flat plane. So the turkey wing broom is going to be spreading out along this flat plane. So here I have the diagonal and then I rotate around and it makes what looks like a V. And again, it's pretty tight. I'm getting close to the end of my broom and I want to be able to add beads, feathers, whatever to my broom. So I have um, a piece of twine that I have it's more than I need. It's probably like seven or eight inches, but basically you just put it right there. 
feed it on and then keep it out of the way as you continue to roll your turkey wing broom. And later on, I can add stuff to that. Okay. Okay, so I've added all my broom corn and I've done all my traveling bees going up, but I wanna add a little bit more to a handle. So I'm gonna do one more um, traveling V. And this one's going to be special because on this is what I like to think of as the front of the broom where you see the diagonal lines and then the big horizontal bars. So this to me is the back of the broom. And I take my piece of leather or twine, which is going to be my handle, and I put it in the back. I will tie it off later and I take my rip cord. The rip cord knot needs to be in the direction of the sweeping end of the broom. Okay, so I have my handle, what will be my handle, um, my hanging cord, and then I have my rip cord side by side. And they're going to be pinched into place by the tension. And I'm going to go around as many times as all of these bars, which is about, for me, it was about 10 times. Okay, so I just discovered a problem. I discovered a snag down at my foot bobbin. And sometimes when you have a snag, you can just keeping one finger on the tension up here, loosen it up and then go down to your foot bobbin and carefully try to pull out the snag and there I pulled it out. Okay, so not all is lost. Sometimes these cords cross over on top of each other. Always keep your thumb on the twine to keep tension up here when you are trying to fix a snag. Okay, so now I'm ready to finish my broom off. I put my thumb on this end to keep the tension. I'm gonna be cutting here, so that's why my thumb is right here. I cut it and what I wanna do is I wanna take the end of my twine and it's gonna go through the loop in the rip cord like that. Then this is the part that takes just some arm muscles and it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of resistance. I'm gonna use my pliers to grab the knot or just above the knot and I'm gonna yank it that way away from me. So, and it's gonna pull it through and there we go. Now that it's pulled through, it's perfect. It will not come undone and then you snip close by and we can use a lighter to singe the end of that. And here is my tying cord and there's that. I'll snip off the ends. Then now it doesn't quite have the turkey wing shape yet. So at this point, put your knee out, grab in there and pull it. It's actually kind of satisfying to pull it against your knee and then fan it out a little bit and that helps make the shape. Okay, so now let's just do the finishing um, touches to our broom, which is to cut off this excess part of the handle and then we trim the bottom and then we have our turkey wing broom. So. Um, it's gonna be messy, it's gonna go flying that way. You can put something like blue tape on here to keep these from flying, but. So, I have a belt sander too, so I can sometimes sand the top, but more or less this is fine like that and then take your scissors and just give it a haircut trim it up and here is a turkey wing style broom with um, something uh, some twine for attaching something if you decide you don't want this just take your pliers and 
pull it right out. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, keep posted for the next video, which will be on making a cobweb style broom. Feel welcome to visit our store, threewitchesdesigns.com. Thank you and have a great day.